guys, this is Penny from Cow's Spuckles. I'm going to be doing my Whip Along Wednesday. I'm doing it on Alice in the White Rabbit House. I have started some. So, yeah, we're going to get a bit done of this. I'm hoping everything is in shot, yes. And I don't know if you can see, but up here, you can't see it. Let me move it a bit. Up, I'm using my cover minder from Kitten, Up, Kitten Resin Art. And I'm also using this amazing pen holder that is got the i've got chosen to have the magnets on it and it just stops my pen rolling all over the place so yeah and i'm using my zesty tray from admore zest now yeah everything's still in line i thought i'd come on i'm actually Wanted to do with a whip. I have spent the last two days kitting up my heaven and earth. So I thought, which I can't really, although I do chat, chat a lot of nonsense on it. I can't really chat too much because I'm having to count and concentrate and blah, 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 all that stuff. So I thought I'd do my Whip Along Wednesday. There are four parts to my Kitten Up for the Heaven and Earth. Number one was Monday. Number two, part two was Tuesday. And you will be, third is on, part three is Thursday, and part four is Friday. Now, I have spread it into four parts. Now, each part is just over an hour long. I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. I'm hopefully going to be starting it very soon. Hopefully this week or next. I'd like to say a huge, huge thank you to all of my new subscribers. Um, to everybody that's made inquiries in regards to my new items. Um, I have on the sidelines been making them. Um, I think I'm going to run out of this and put, have to put some more in. So, yeah, it is going tremendously well. Um, I am still working on trying to do cheaper postage for overseas. The, um, but it's hard, guys. The The thing is, is, is it's the weight. Because it's cardstock, it's a decent weight, and the laminated ones are even heavier. The books are not too bad, the drill books, but I'm trying to find a way to do postage as cheaply as possible. Now, if you're in the UK, I suggest you check out the eBay links um, because they will have um, UK postage is not bad. I'm part of the global shipping on eBay. So, I don't see what the shipping is. I just post it to, I don't know, a warehouse in the UK. And then eBay sorts it out. But from what I've been told, 
the postage is extortionate. So I am looking to see what I can do. So if you are elsewhere in the world, internationally, then please, please either leave a comment or send me an email and I will look into it. Like I said, I am trying to find cheaper ways, <coughs> excuse me, so that you guys don't have to pay so much in shipping. But it is turning into a bit of a headache, so I am going to spend some time this week making some sets up. And I'm also, I'm going to package one up and actually go to the post office. I live in quite a small town, so I can go to the post office. The people in there are lovely. And I'm going to actually see what they say in regards to Royal Mail. And what would be the best way, the cheapest way, the only downfall of the cheapest way is that you may have to wait longer for it to get to you <coughs> but i am trying my hardest to try and work out cheaper prices now all the postage in this country seems to have shot up lately anyway um if i'm posting in the UK, then I tend to use Hermes. Um, I've, I use Hermes for my other business and it has always sort of so, seen me well. I've, I've personally never had any problems with it. And I kind of figure, because when I get my Diamond Art Club from the States... It gets delivered by Avery, which is the new name for Hermes. Um, literally, the Hermes collection is literally around the corner from my house. So I really prefer... And also, it means that you can track it. You can track to see when your parcels come in. But I've been on their website trying to work out what their international is. And it's like a minefield. So I just need a day where my brain's not frazzled and I can get this, sort some cheaper post postage costs out for, for everybody. Um, I always send out international via eBay, but to be fair, it's usually th things that are not heavy. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all a bit, I need to sort of play around and see what I can find because I've had so many sort of inquiries through email and I don't want you guys to pay this price and to be honest, I wouldn't be happy paying the price, you know. Um, but I don't, I can only do what I can do. I am looking into it, I'm not going to give up looking into it. So that's all I can do at the minute. But I just thought I would come on because I did. I don't think I did a wick last Wednesday. I don't think I did. But yeah, I thought I'd come on and do this whip so that I can have a little natter. 
just a little matter. So I want to say a big thank you to Sam at Kitten Up Kitten because I think she put out her, she did the unboxing of my index cards and my drill books. And yeah, that's brought me, I know a lot of subscribers have come over and checked me out and subscribed, which I really do appreciate. So yeah, I'm very happy. I've now, I think I'm on 61 subscribers, which is amazing. Never thought I'd get that many subscribers. And they're not all family and friends. <laughs> they're not. They are subscribers. There are a couple my daughter subscribed. But they're not all friends and family. I do have genuine subscribers. Um, but yeah, it's just really... It's really made me my day at seeing that people have come over and... I'm getting more comments, which hopefully means people are enjoying my videos. I love making them, you know. And to be fair, whether I was making a video or not, I would still be, for instance, I'd still be doing diamond painting. I'd still be kitting up for heaven and earth. So why not chat to myself while I'm doing it? Because... It just feels like I've made some friends. I have this little community going on, which is absolutely amazing. I haven't actually done a huge amount of diamond painting this week. Simply because that door is my, that is my door in the door. Um, Simply because I've had the grandchildren up <coughs> over the weekend and I have been doing the kitten up. I've been doing the kitten up, revamping the storage, sorting all my new art dot drills out. So I have been kind of busy this sort of end of last week and this week. But I love it. I've got a show on... Saturday, the local art centre, um, with my crochet items and my buntings. Um, I do, I'm supposed to be doing lots of work for it, but because I've got this flare up of tendonitis in my left elbow, I have limited movements. So, I can't actually get that much done. I'm just getting something to put down to rest my arm on because my arm's going on the plastic and it's making it stick to it. So, yeah, so I haven't been able to get that much of that work done. But it is what it is. I'm not going to... Um, stress about it i did stress last week i was like oh gosh what am i gonna do but you know what like i said it is what it is i can't do anything about it um so yeah so i'm just gonna take whatever i've got already and then go from there that's all I can do, really. I can't... I'm not going to do the work and then make it worse. Um, the pain is, is, is slowly getting better. But days like the other day when I... Did thought, yeah, I can hang out the washing and blah, blah, blah. The following day, I couldn't move it. I, I, couldn't, I could move it, but I couldn't move it without crying in pain. 
so I am trying to not use it and do what the doctor says to do. So what I will be doing is getting diamond painting. <laughs> I can do diamond painting because I can rest my left arm, which is a problem arm, and just use my right arm. You know, I have, in all fairness this week, I have been using my left arm more than I should because of the whole kitting up process. You can't kit up with one arm. Now I can diamond paint with one arm. So, yeah. But I've been very gentle with it. So sort of just doing gentle movements, nothing too strenuous. So, yeah, and I got the kitten up done. And that was kitten up 239 colours. Nine containers. And you will all, if you've been watching, if it's not been too boring for you guys, you will see that I've, you will have seen part one and part two anyway. So it's actually quite nice because we've had rain here today. And although we've had rain, we've also, it's not been cold at all, you know. My grass needed the rain, desperately. We had rain last week, and already my grass looked better. So, having, the ra having it rain means I don't have to water the garden, which is great. Absolutely great, because it's not a job that I like doing. I do, I do do it. But it's not one of them jobs that I look forward to doing. So if it rains, it's a bonus because I do like my pretty garden. Not that I've got a huge amount of colour in there at the minute because this year there just hasn't... I, I don't know whether it's because of this, it's been so hot. And I was watering the garden in the morning and again in the evening. But it just, a lot of my flowers died off. Um, I'm hoping that they're going to come back next year. But obviously I won't know till next year. But yeah, I do like my garden. And I love my flowers. I love having lots of colour out there. I'll tell you what has done really good in the garden. My tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes have been amazing. I've had loads of them. I've actually grown yellow tomatoes this year. Well, I say this year. I've never grown them before. I am... Um, Last year I had an abundance of colour out there because it was the first year of me having a garden and I did get a bit excited with buying flowers and they did amazing. But what I also did last year is I also bought I made sure a lot of the flowers that I bought or the plants that I bought were um, perennials so that they would come back this year. And sure and behold, they have. Um, be it they didn't come back for long 
or some of them haven't actually. I've got three different types of hydrangeas. I've got um, a blue, a pink, and one called a switch, which actually changes colour. Now, the blue one and the switch both started to bloom. Um, and then this weather hit us. This heat that we've had, these two heat heat waves. I say two heat waves, but in in fairness, it never felt like it when it one of them finished and another one started because there was such high humidity that it didn't actually cool down at any point. So yeah. So they bloomed. My dad's roses. I got a few roses off that. And then the heat hit and I've not had any more. My wisteria, which is my pride and joy, um, is kind of, it's not dead. It will come back next year. But it's not looking too healthy. It's not as green and full as it was last year. It hasn't flowered yet. Now, I only bought it last year. And from what I understand, because I've only just got a garden, but from what I understand, they only bloom once they hit a certain age. And I don't know how old my one is. So, but it hasn't yet. So, who knows with that. But it, it did grow. It's grown. I've got it actually going along my fence on trellis. And it's gone along. It's about six foot across now. Yeah, it's got to be six foot because it's at least the fence panel. Which, and they're six foot fence panels. So, it's doing really well. It just hasn't flowered. So, yeah. We've had a fun day today. Me and Anna Lee. Well, Anna Lee loved the Spider-Man films. I've never really watched any of them. It's never really been my cup of tea. But the other week, I said she could choose the film that we watch. When we was having movie night. And what does she choose? She chooses Spider-Man. So. I watched it. And in all fairness. I quite enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. So. I said to her. As she watched the other films. Like the Marvel films. And she hadn't. So I said, all right, well, we'll both watch some then. So today, yesterday we watched Captain America. Today we have watched Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2. And I have to say, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, apparently, she says there's about 30 films that we need to watch. <laughs> so, that is, the plan is, is that we're going to go through the Marvel films and watch them. So, I don't know, I think she said four is the next one. So, we'll watch that tomorrow. But, yeah. It was actually quite nice because obviously I've had the grandkids up and it was quite nice to um just sit. Like, I love the grandkids, but I'm not used to the noise. So what was nice today, like they went home yesterday. Is it yesterday? It was yesterday? Yes. This day was Sunday. Yes, they they went home Sunday, sort of afternoon-ish. 
But we was put, I was pottering around and you, I miss them. As soon as they go, I'm like, oh, they should have stayed for longer. Today, I have got so much done. I've finished the, all the videos for the Heaven and Earth. I've done a couple of sets of index, or at least cut out a couple of sets for the index. Index cards for your spare drills. I've also completed the drawer that I was using my rounds, spare rounds for. Completed that. So, I will show you guys a video of it. Not of, of that, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. Because now I need to... I'm going to do a video for the second drawer. Because there are three drawers on there. So, yeah. I seem to have got a lot done today. And watched two Marvel films. That are like two hours long. So I feel like I've done loads today. I've also managed to tidy up my area a bit. Because now that I've done the kitten up. And I've sort of put away all the art dot drills that I got. And all that stuff. I can put a lot of stuff away. Because I was sort of kitting up and I had the boxes out and I had the boxes that I do. I have my art dot stuffy, art dot drills in. I had those boxes out and there's three boxes there. I had two boxes out which had my, the rest of my spare drills, not the art dot ones because I haven't moved them over yet. Um... And there was just stuff everywhere. So I couldn't even really get to the table to do much of like diamond up painting wise. So we watched the last of the films. And I and Lee said she I think she's watching I don't know what she's watching, but she's watching something in the front room. So I said, right, I'm going to pop into the kitchen. I'm going to do this whip so that it's ready to go up on Wednesday. So I've done pretty good because once I've done this whip, I'm straight until Saturday for videos because I am I do try to put a little something up most days. Um, what I might do tomorrow is I might put up. I might do the video for the <coughs> using my drawer unit where I'm using up the round spares. But yeah. Where um, I feel like I've been quite productive the last sort of week. I can't say just this week because as I'm filming this, it's Monday. But I'm just trying to get ahead because I've got a show on Friday. I've got a festival, a local festival on Monday. I've got a show, I haven't got a show on Friday. I've got a show on, craft show on Wednesday, on Saturday. But Friday I shall be sorting everything out. Then on Monday I have a festival that I'm helping out at. So yeah, I'm trying to get videos made so there's still a little bit of something up each week each day there may be the odd day where there isn't i think there was a day or two days last week where i didn't put anything up and it is what it is i can't i do try 
but it isn't always possible and I just saw another one of them. Can I get my pen in to get one? Oh, I've got two out. How's that? So we'll put that in there. And I think that is those done. Um, so yeah. Got a busy sort of end of week, beginning of next week. And then I have hospital on the 31st which is next week then i have production that i'm actually me and annalee are taking part in which is a bit of a mad one that's on the 1st of september so yeah hopefully we can get some quiet time well, not even quiet time. It's it's more a case of time when I don't have huge amounts of stuff to do. But then also it's really nice that we're actually doing stuff, you know. Because if not, I'll just sit in the house and diamond painting, which I don't mind doing that. But I think Annalie gets a little bit bored with that so yeah so what have all you guys get, been up to are you what are you working on at the moment I'm itching to do my heaven and earth but I'm still yet to get actually by the pattern well Hopefully, by the time this video goes up, I will have bought it. And I will be doing... What do you guys think is best? Do you want me to do... Shall I do a whip on it? Oh, that's got a few tabs on it, that one. Um... Shall I do a weekly whip, a monthly whip, or oh, you're just not that interested? <laughs> Is it just me that's excited about it? If I do a week, because at the moment I tend to do a whip on a set on a Wednesday, my whip along Wednesday, and I do which is usually well it will be this canvas the alice in the white rabbit house and i do a whip along sunday which is my forest snowman and i do it like that because i figure if i do the same painting all the time you guys will get bored we've seen it so, I figured I'd sort of mix it up a little bit. Now, I could do once a week. I could just slot it in. Because I'll be working. My aim is to do some every week. Even if it's just a little bit of it. Um, I should really be a bit patient. And wait until at least I've finished one of the ones that I'm working on at the minute. Because I do have this one and my Frosty Snowman. The Frosty Snowman I want finished for Christmas. Um, I think that's a little bit further on than this. But it's smaller than this one as well. This one is actually Annalise painting, but she hates squares, so I'm doing it for her. She's actually been doing a bit on her um, Alice and Starry night. So maybe, maybe we could do a wick together. Maybe we should. Although, 
she's very hit and miss. Like she she did she she did quite a bit of her um Alice and Starry Night and then went on to not do any for ages. So she is very hit and miss with it. She's got to be in the mood to diamond paint. She's also see, she's just like me. She's definitely my child. She's draw she she loves drawing. So she drew a picture a couple of weeks back. Um and what she's doing now is she's drawn it again. But she's now, instead of colouring it in, she's using round diamonds and she's turned it in, turning it into a diamond painting. You know, and she's sort of not asked me or asked for advice or said, how do I do this? She's just cracked on and done it. She's also got a water bottle that she's decorating. And she's got her Alice. So, yeah. So, this one, Alice in the White Rabbit House, will match her Alice in Starry Night. But, yeah. She's enjoying doing it. That's the main thing. She does it when she wants. She does lots of drawing. She watches lots of YouTube. And in all fairness, she'll be back to school soon. She'll be going back, I think it's the 5th of September. So it won't be long till she's back at school. And then... So she's doing all these things while she can. And this is why, because she is going back to school and she needs uniform and bags. And obviously, because every September she has to have a new bag. Obviously. Like, how could you not? Um, and her school uniform is so expensive. Like, the school is, you can't just go and get a uniform. It has to be from a certain shop. You have to have, you can't just go, even go and get the blouses. You have to have the blouses with the badge on it for her, um, her house. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. So, at the minute, I am on a no-buy. Because I need to get that sorted. Um, I'm trying to sort of been getting a bit each week for her. I don't understand why she needs a new bag every single September. But I also wouldn't want her to go into school with a bag. Not having the bag that she wants. Because of her anxiety, I like that transition for her going back to school after having time off because she does suffer with social anxiety. I want it to be as smooth as possible so that she feels comfortable going to school. So she will get a new bag. Okay, but yeah, I think she's actually quite looking forward to going to school, going back to school. She doesn't, um, she hasn't sort of been too anxious about it yet. Let's um, not speak too soon. She seems to have been okay with it at the moment. She does say she wants to go back to school. I think she's getting a bit bored now. Um, and she is a child that loves to learn. So, yeah, 
I think it will be good for her to be back in school. I didn't tip out nearly enough of these diamonds. There's quite a bit of colour. It's not a huge colour block, but there's a bit of colour block in this section. So... But I am, um, I do like, do you know what, I love doing squares. And it's, I do find, because I did a little bit, she was doing, um, Annalie did some of her Alice and Starry Night and she was halfway through the section. She said, oh, mum, can you finish this for me? And this is why she was actually downloading Pat and Keeper for me so I said okay I'll do that whilst you download for me it was quite nice to do some rounds because that is a round um you forget how quick it is to do the rounds but I do like the squares like I will buy if I see a pattern like kitty cuddles my god absolutely love that picture, Diamond Art Club. Um, that's a round, and I bought that. I will still do a round. Um, there's a few that are rounds that I really want to that I really want to get. Um, but if I could choose, I would do a square. I just took a big gulp of that coffee. It's much needed. But yeah. I do like squares. I am. Um, when I was kitting up for my heaven and earth. And if you've seen some of it. You will have seen. That I still need. There's a few that they're really big numbers. So I still need to carry on. Collect. Not that I'm going to stop collecting, even when I've got all of them, but I am going to carry on collecting for them, for it. Um, but there are still a few where I do need quite a few. There's a few that I need a few thousand for. So... Because some of them are big numbers. I think one of them on there is like 25,000 I need of one colour. That's a lot. But I think that's more, it's it's a lot of the blues because the, the sky bit is different blues. I've sort of tried not to mix shades because I am very much anal about that. I try not to. But what I'll do is I'll, if I've had to mix shades, then I'll use it in separate parts of the picture. So there's always a way to work around it. But yeah, all fun and games. I am, um, I'm actually really enjoying doing this. But I said I haven't actually done much. I've done little bits here and there. I haven't done a huge amount because of doing all the, like, the kitting up. Because what I have to do is I have to do the video, do the video. Then I have to edit it. Oh, I don't always edit it, to be honest. Sometimes I just throw it up. Because I am me, I don't want to take out the... um. I don't want to edit it so that I end up taking out the real me. I don't want it to be professional looking. I'm quite happy for you guys to see me, how I am. I don't need all the... Oh, let's take that out because I spilled my drills everywhere. That's not me, you know. I will never do... A kitten up and not spill some. I'll never do a kitten down and not spill some. I don't want to take that out. So 
I try not to swear. You might hear the odd thing. I don't think I had that. I think I've been quite good. Um, now, I'll be honest with you. There is a few swear words that comes out of my mouth sometimes. But I don't think I've sworn on video yet. <laughs> um, I may have done, who knows? Who cares? Um, but yeah, you get the real me. But when I do the videos, I have to do the video. Sometimes edit it, sometimes not. It depends also how many parts the video is in. Then I will... Um, I have to load it to YouTube. And those that know, sometimes, especially if it's like an hour-long video, which these kitten, kitten ups are, it can take a couple of hours for it to upload. Sometimes it uploads really quickly. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, sometimes it takes longer. So it is a case of I could be sitting around waiting for it to upload. And then once it's uploaded and it's scheduled and all that bit's gone fine, I then do the next video. So, it does take time. It's not just a case where I film it, shove it on, 10 minutes later it's all done. It doesn't work like that. Um, but, yeah. So, the, doing the four videos, and they're just over an hour long each, took a, actually took a lot longer than four hours. So, I have been sort of... Watching films with Anna Lee. Um, what else have we been doing? Obviously, the kids were here. So, yeah. But we are... I'm glad it's done now. I was a little bit sad when it was finished because, like I said, I enjoy doing it. I really enjoyed kitting up that heaven and earth. Um... But I like organising stuff, so I think that sort of gets me going. That's what sort of keeps me motivated, because I see it as I'm organising my drills, ready for a huge project. And I have spent time with Anna Lee these last couple of days. When the grandkids were here, we went off for a picnic. We went over to the fields. And it, we didn't go in the forest this time. We went over the fields. We've been out playing football. and rat, Well, I haven't been playing football. But we've been playing rounders. Um, you know, just having fun. Playing card games and Monopoly. And then I've also managed to get work in. So, yeah. All good. All good in the hood, as they say. But, yeah. It's been a good, good week, actually. And it's not often I say that. <laughs> it's been a good week. Last week, that is, because today's Monday. This week, I'm hoping, is going to be just as good. I'm going to do my event on Saturday. And I'm going to make loads of money. And I can buy loads of things for my diamond painting. Although... What would be really good if I made loads of money and I could get all of her school uniform. Get that done. Get it finished. So it's a worry that I don't need to think about. And then 
I can buy lots of diamond painted stuff. <sighs> because although I am on a no buy anyway, there isn't actually anything that I really, really want. Um, although pff, I could easily go on Diamond Dark Club and buy. Um, but there's nothing that I've think, I'm thinking, oh, I really want that, really want that. Last week, I managed to get my unicorn from Diamond Art Club because it was restocked. Um, and if you don't know what a unicorn is, a unicorn, if you think of, um, you don't see unicorns. You don't see them. So if you want something and it's, you're looking for it, looking for it, looking for it, that is classed as your unicorn. Well, when I very first, one of the very first videos I watched on YouTube was somebody doing this canvas. And it's been out of stock ever since. So, it came back into stock last week. So I got it. I bought it, got it, done. Right, so that section is finished. Now... If I can, I'm going to try and lift up this camera and you can see my progress on this. Right, so I've literally started and this is the mushroom going across and I've just got one little section. That cloth is filthy. One little section left to do here. So I may do it. Can you see a little? Pretty little face, see? So I might do that this evening. But for now, guys, I am going to love you and leave you. I will put a link for these two, for Kitten Up Kitten. I'll tag her in this um, so that you can, if you go onto her YouTube, you'll see her web uh, Etsy shop link. Um, and... Look at these, but this is amazing. You know what, even this, which is quite a fat pen, just sits. Now, the amount of times I'm like this and it'll roll off. So, if I put it like that, then it just stays there. Absolutely love it. And you can get this with or without magnets. I've got it with a magnet because I sometimes use the easel, although I haven't today because I couldn't bother to go and get it out the other room. Um, these cover minders, and if I just show you how they work, look, you have a magnet attached at the back, this magnet, and they clock to do that. It's quite a powerful magnet. Can't even get it off. And then you will put this one underneath your canvas, that one on top. Now, they are called cover minders because when you, if you keep the plastic on, I don't. But if you keep the plastic on, it holds back the plastic. Now, I don't use the plastic, but I like pretty things. And I just thought that, if you can see the glitter in that, absolutely amazing. And it matches my pen, my pen stand. So, and my pen stand, it is on a magnet. If I do this, there you go. It's got the same thing. Magnet there, magnet there. But the two of them, how glorious are they? So, yeah. So, that's me for done for today. Thank you all for watching. Um, thank you to once again to all my new subscribers and my regulars. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you for all the love that you show. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And down there, along the bottom somewhere, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you hit the little bell icon, you will, will hear a ting every time I upload a video. So for now, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will see you all soon. 
Bye.